south of England at Trident Engineering. What is it you do here? Uh, we are an aerospace machinist. Uh, we work in five main sectors, uh, aerospace, motorsport, medical, marine, and we work also with the food industries. And looking around the shop, you've got lots of five axis technology, but also you've, you know, you've got a sliding head lathe here, SD38 machine. Why did you go for the star? We went with the star basically for the versatility it gave us. We can machine parts from a couple of million size up to this part here, which we actually had as a turnkey package. And the first thing you'll note, it's got three turrets. Yeah. Obviously, a slide head lathe, quite often we talk about platens, it's actually got three turrets. Why did you need the three turrets? Three turrets basically for the fact that anything we do on the second end is free of charge. It's done in, in cycle, it's no cost to it gives you the versatility for uh, more advanced machining on the back end. And you understand this is 12 axes, but how many tools do you have and are they all driven? I think it's 24, 30 tools. Uh, we've got the capability of driven on all of them. Obviously, they're not all driven, but there is that capability to do it on now. And this part on your hand, I understand you bought the machine on the back of this work? Yeah, yeah. We, did, we actually did this prior to the actual purchase of the star, but it was done over multiple turning and milling operations. Uh, in excess of an hour and a half to two hours in total. We now get the part off complete from bar in 38 minutes. Was that a turnkey from Star? Did it help you along the way? Yes, this machine was bought as a turnkey package, so we wanted this part off this machine. What can you do us? And one thing you have surprised me with, I looked at that and I thought, it's been a while since I've been on a, a CNC machine. I wouldn't want to program three turrets. You tell me, apprentices are programming this. Yeah, we've got an apprentice that's been on there for about four and a half, five months. Uh, never, no engineering experience, we've now got him on here, he's programming it, he's setting it, he's doing really well. So the part in your hand, I understand it's 38mm diameter, hence the machine, yeah. but you also do some tiny parts as well on this machine. Yeah, we'll go from pretty much 2mm diameter upwards. Yeah, and tight tolerance work? Yeah, very tight tolerance, microns, titaniums, exotic metals, through to aluminiums. This part's aluminium. When you do more challenging materials, how good are the Y-axis? How strong and robust? Uh, the Y-axis, you have to be careful with it, as like any axis is. But to be fair, we do deep hole drilling, we do milling on it. It, it, it does the job. So, and how have you found star? Presumably in the time you've had this machine, you've gone for training, maybe you've had them in for servicing and things like this. How's that experience been? Yeah, star's backup's pretty good, to be fair. Uh, servicing once a year. When we've got a problem, we give them a call and they're always on the phone, so they're good. And the machine, it was a turnkey package. Is it a standard machine or was there some extras? Uh, there are some extras. Um, it was bespoke to do this job, so we've got a little bit of extra clearances. We've got two different guide bush systems where we can change between them, so it's not a standard off-the-shelf ST. So, as I say, you're predominantly milling here at Tridan, but any engineers watching this maybe want to get into uh, sliding head lays, albeit this is a turret machine. You know, what would you say to them? Um, good question, really, actually. Um, sliding heads, yeah, it's a totally different way of thinking, but I think if you approach it the right way, as we've done with our apprentices and given the right training, it's not as scary as it looks.